Mabuhay! It's Music Reaction Time! That's right! And today, we're gonna have a little bit of a debate on what is Marcelito going to sing next on AGT? Mm. Champions, of course, not just AGT, it's... Champions right. version! So, I wanted to make this video because there's all sorts of interesting speculation of what is he gonna sing. We watched him sing another song, Time to Say Goodbye, and a lot of people think that's his next thing. But, 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 I wanted to actually showcase all the different kind of possibilities he has access to for two reasons, right? Mm -hmm. One is that I see in our comments coming up again and again, how people think that he's just a novelty act, that he literally can only sing two different songs, right? Because the two songs that went viral along, The Prayer and The Power of Love, mm -hmm. are, are like so popular that people just think, well, after those two songs, what else has he got? Like, even if he got to the finals, what's his third song? Mm. And I just wanted to say, well, no, you are wrong. He definitely has a bigger repertoire of songs that you realize. Mm -hmm. But the other thing though, is mm -hmm. that Marcelude has done a number of interviews now, and he has said that the AGT producers have asked him to come with a list of 10 different songs that he you know, can sing, and they're gonna try to pick which one that he's gonna perform on stage with. Really? Why are they picking it for him? Well, so there's a bit of controversy in terms of whether or not the artists that you see on stage are actually deciding what they get to perform or not. Yeah, so I think in actually making another video about this, we talked a little bit about how uh, what you see on TV is fake. But one of the things I'm now realizing is how far the AGD producers go towards actually choosing what things people do on stage. Mm. Yeah. But that being said, we know that he's created a top 10 list of things that he's gonna perform, which means mm. that he must have at least 10 things he can sing. So let's check out some of the possibilities as I went online, digging through all the different performances that he's done. So what? let's check it out, y'all. Let's do it. All right, so let's get some of the obvious ones out of the way first, right? Like the first one obviously is the other big song that has gone viral for her, which is The Power of Love. That microphone is really good, John. Oh my God. For whatever reason, sometime in the past, the Wish Bus had taken down a whole bunch of their performances that went viral, mm -hmm. including a bunch of stuff that Marcelino had done, including stuff that Morissette has done. Mm -hmm. These are videos that went on to generate 10, 20, 100 million some views. Now, I don't know if it's Wish Bus who took it down or if the original creators didn't like the fact that these covers were doing better than some of <laughs> the original. original songs. Where, yeah, I mean, that's the rumor that's been spreading all that's what people are saying. Either way, you can see our reaction to that. All right. So that's obvious one, right? The other obvious one is Time to Say Goodbye. We reacted to that one as well. He's mm -hmm. performed that live. Someone had captured that on a cell phone. Wow. And of course, that one is a great choice because it's also an amazing duet with Andrea Bocelli and Sarah Brightman. That's right. Yeah, that yes. one's oh, so good. So clean, so perfect for his Dolby Cara voice. Now, some people are saying he should say that to the finals, right? Mm -hmm. Time to say goodbye in the finals. But I'm like, no, time to say goodbye. That means he didn't win. <laughs> He's not Why would you, win. Hey, goodbye, I didn't win. <laughs> no, see it now, right? Wow, people now. Now, the other option that we also reacted to, that people think, well, seeing this one first and then saying time to say goodbye last is Beauty and the Beast. Oh. A song that he sang when he was on Ellen. Ellen. <laughs> it's just like, what am I, what? She's totally blown away. That was a really gimped version, but there is a version of him seeing this song when he was in Dubai, when he's performing, traveling around the world. So go check it out. It's actually a really great rendition mm. because again, it's also a duet, guy, girl. Right. It's the kind of song that feels just really perfect for his voice. Mm. All right. So some of the other ones here, right, are a little bit more interesting. Although I don't necessarily think they will be the top choices, but he has sung them before. One is Endless Love. I don't. My love. Oh my gosh. This song is the one that I can sing. Doble Cara. Uh, this is the song every <laughs> Filipino knows how to sing. I swear. Oh yeah. It comes up in every karaoke opportunity. Everyone sings a know? cover. You never 
done karaoke before. I hung around enough Filipinos and I married one. Oh. When you talk about how Filipinos love love ballads, this is the song that inevitably comes up. The other one is, he sings a song from Heart, which is a really tough song. It's not a song where you sing two voices, but it's alone. Oh, I love this song. Yeah, this is a great song too, very powerful. I'm gonna include a link to that performance here as well, but I think he's kind of straining scene in the song. This is really hard. This yeah. is hard. This is a really hard song. I don't think people realize that when you listen to Heart sing, they are yelling at the top of their lungs and you have to be able to maintain that high octave through that whole sort of rock ballad, if you will. So he's proven that he can do it, but his falsetto isn't natural. So it's kind of straining to keep up. Mm. Oh my god, all these songs are bringing back memories back then. Is this like, just like a to top 10 list too. of uh, <laughs> how to be Filipino? How to be Filipino, <laughs> that's right. God, I love this song. The other song that he sings as well, which I think is an interesting choice, is Despacito. You don't remember Despacito? It literally was the number one song in the world it's, for like just, weeks and weeks and weeks. Just until. didn't. Bieber song. Justin Bieber was, yeah, one of the performers on it. But, I, I know, but he can sing that really. I'm yeah. curious. So he actually learned how to sing in the native language. Nice. Yeah, which I think is probably pretty natural because a lot of words in Filipino culture yeah. are, you know, Spanish, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. there's a lot of that crossing over to, you know, Latin countries and the mm -hmm. language that the song is sang in. What's interesting is there's a couple of versions of him singing the song. One of them, he's actually singing it for the prince and princess of Spain. I guess it's a party of some sort. He was the invited what? guest that came out. It honestly looked like they were all drunk at a party and they're just singing <laughs> and talking while he's up on stage and they're completely ignoring him. Not realizing that this dude is gonna become like the biggest sensation on America's Got Talent Champions. So yeah, this is an option. I don't think it's the best option though. Okay, um, are we gonna listen to this? You so wanna hear the uh, yeah, how he does it? Okay. Yes, I'm curious how he's... Okay, so what we'll do is we'll react to that one separately, but just know it's an option. So the other option is that he can sing the song, like a love ballad, like from uh, Ed Sheeran, Perfect. So he did sing this song, which will be interesting because it's a really popular song in the US. It's performed a lot in covers. Mm -hmm. And if he's able to do something interesting in terms of be able to sing a guy version of it and a female version of it, then that could be pretty cool. And if you remember, mm -hmm. Beyonce did sing this song too at one yes, point. Yes, yes, yes. So if he's able to pull off a uh, Beyonce type of sound with an Ed Sheeran type of sound. What? <laughs> Do you have a video of him? Uh, yes, there is a video of him singing this song, so you can definitely check it out. Uh, but no, he doesn't quite go the whole Beyonce route. I'm just saying if he's able to perfect the voice to try to push it in that way. The Beyonce's voice is a lot actually deeper, deeper. And, yeah, than his typical no, whole, falsetto. No, like just... Bigger sound. Fuller. Fuller. Amazing. There it is. Yeah, try to compare Fuller yourself to Beyonce is a, really a fool's errand, deep. quite frankly. Okay, so the other options are he's actually released the album right after his win on Filipinas Got Talent back in 2011. I think the album is called something like Duets or Duets with Himself or something like that, which is obvious. Like that's what he's going to be going and right. doing. There's two songs here. One is called like Forever and the other one is um, Let the Love Begin. They're actually English versions of these songs. So I think it could work well for a American audience. It's one of those things where I just wanna let you guys know he can do these songs. He probably could list it and he knows them well, but they're not as well known in America, yeah, even if they are Filipino, English. They're Filipino songs. They're songs that are sung in English, but they're very Filipino flavored. That's the best way I could describe it. Like Filipino <laughs> flavored songs are very love ballady, kind of sappy-ish. Yeah, the songs kind of fall within that camp. All right, so already right there, right? You got like eight different options. So like, what else could he do? Well, if he really want to get crazy here, Mm -hmm. Right, if you really want to represent the Philippines, he could sing a Filipino, Filipino song. song. He could go just straight up and go like, my boo hi, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing like that. People are like, what, 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 what? Right? So there's one song that uh, he's done called Malaya Ka, which I think means what? You're free. You're free, that's right. Google Translate says the same thing, so this time I know you're not lying to what me. What do you mean? <laughs> I read it. Okay. 
And there's another song from Regina. Regine. Regina. Regi isn't it Regina? Another song from Regine Velasquez. Regine Velasquez. Hold on. Um, Regine Velasquez. God. God. Um, Narito Ojo. And it's a song called Narito Ico. Narito Ojo. Oh, you know this song, huh? Famous song from the Philippines. What does that mean? I'm right here. <laughs> I think it is. Google translating this biatch. I'm right here. Am I right? Narito Ojo. Here I am. I'm right here. Close enough. <laughs> or, or he could sing another song, which is a gospel song for the Philippines, an uplifting song. Pag ba ba lick. Pag ba ba lick, which means. Return! <laughs> yeah, so there you go, y'all. There are a lot of options that he could go with, or he could totally surprise us and go with something completely brand new, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I don't think he's going to go that route. I think he's going to probably play it safe with one of the two, three songs that are listed at the top of what we're doing here. Right now, he's the only singing act in this round. So mm -hmm. for me, I feel like he's got a good shot of going through if he plays it just a little bit safe. So he could do something that's a little bit more, you know, fun. Yeah. But not and it as has to be, uh, strange. I, in my personal opinion, it has to be a familiar English song. Yes, yes. Because, just because people will get more excited. They know the song. They know how it sounds like with the female version and the male version, right? Yes, ma'am. So that's you hearing me, you listen Marcelino. To <laughs> what do you all think? Let us know what you think he should sing for both the semifinals and the finals, right? What is his one-two punch strategy that's gonna get him to go all the way? Because it's a strategy and then, it's not just like seeing your best up front. He's gotta yes. build up towards a crescendo. And like we said, with a lot of these performances, especially in America's Got Talent, now there's a lot of international acts, seeing something in English, seeing something that's popular and well-known in this country requires some research because it's the kind of thing where it isn't just about your performance, your capability, it's about how you emotionally connect with someone in two minutes. That's right. And it's tough. Marcelito has actually said it's very, very tough. And especially when he's saying the first song uh, from the first night, he was just saying like, man, when I was seeing the, the prayer, like I didn't know how to get down two minutes because I've never seen it that short. Like it's a buildup for him, oh, right? So really? be able to switch back and forth was as, yeah, he said it was he a had, real he challenge. He had an interview? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I thought, but I think I that's thought the he case called for you. And... <laughs> Me and Marcelino are close just right. like that. Hey, everyone contacts us, Lulu, so it's not even a joke. People love our Gosh. reactions, you know. <laughs> Oh All right, Marcelino. Goodness. Well, if you're new, luck. yes, before you cut, if you're new in our channel, don't forget to subscribe. That's right, because we're going to watch him through all the way through to the end. And also, he has such an inspiring story. I would love to be able to just continue to follow him over the years because he's been through so many ups and downs. He is an inspired person.